Hey guys, one more thing about, well, I guess a couple of things, because so many people in America are talking about this, the Donald Trump tape, that audio tape with Billy Bush from 2005 and what he's going to grab or what he likes to grab. And Well, it's changed a fair amount of the election cycle. And because so many people are talking about this, not enough people are talking about this, which is Hillary Clinton's transcripts of speeches she gave to Goldman Sachs and other banks. That's been leaked. John Podesta got hacked. A whole bunch of things happened. And these speeches really detail this concept of public and private policy positions, not really blaming Wall Street for what happened, far different than what she said uh, in public, and the entire situation where they really worked in the DNC with Hillary Clinton to steal the primaries from Bernie Sanders. I mean, those two subjects should really change an election season almost in both directions. But America's talking about something far better than both those things. Ken Bone, people! You gotta love this guy. Ken Bone was at the debate. He's there at the second debate, the red sweater, and he asks a question, and first of all, he looks joyous. He just looks happy to be there. And the question that he asks, which is about energy policy, it was a good question, and he's upbeat, and he's kind of delightful, and because he's wearing the red sweater, he's got the big round face and the kind of porn-esque mustache, well, he becomes an immediate internet meme, and now he's become a star, and he's going on Jimmy Kimmel, and he's on with Fox and Friends, and he's here, and he's there, and he's delightful. He is delightful, and he is decent, and it's, it's refreshing. You see, I think that the Trump story has a, a place in this election cycle, and I think what Hillary did in terms of her speeches, has a real place in this election cycle, and the media bias against not talking about those speeches, that's been awful. But the Ken Bone story, that's a story about seeing somebody who's good and decent, and that's something that America wants. And we know it when we see it. We didn't need to be told it in, in, by some kind of, of news person. We didn't have to have some Madison Avenue ad agency tell us about it. We saw this guy and we were immediately attracted to it because he looked just like a guy who was happy. And then you hear him talk, and you realize it's a guy who is happy. Now, don't get me wrong. We could find out that this is an out-of-work character actor who was just doing a part, and all of a sudden it worked in his favor. Good on him, too, if that's the case. But Ken Bone and stories like him are the stories that America loves. Just a good, decent guy asking a question and involved in the process. It's not the worst thing to see. It's kind of nice.